Strap on your hiking boots, kids, because today we are navigating our way through this wilderness themed pinup art. Today's video is made possible by my supporters on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you too can support the creation of my upcoming artwork, videos, lessons, and all of my delightfully creative habits while earning awesome rewards of your own, like free high res drawings, paintings, and early release content, and even discounts on commissioned artwork. Sign up for free at patreon.com. How's it going, everybody? This is Derek Stewart. Thanks for checking out my channel and my video. I hope everyone is doing fan fantastic in your lives. I hope your artwork is going well. I hope your pinup modeling. I hope your 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 uh, your appreciationing is going well. Whatever you up to, you're up to in your life, I hope it is awesome. Anyway, thanks again for checking this video out today. We're just kind of navigating, as I said at the top of the video, kind of navigating this commission piece. Uh, somebody wrote in and and asked for a piece that featured uh, his wife. Uh, in, in sort of a triumphant, um, outdoorsy kind of experience pinup, but you know, uh, they've got kids, but they wanted to have something that was still definitely family friendly, um, but, uh, but not, uh, not prudish or anything and outdoorsy, but not overly nature saturated. Um, I think something that just was, um, Reminiscent of somebody that's uh, I guess I guess he he loves his wife, whatever. That's cool um, So good for him and this was a good opportunity to try something um, Try something new. Uh, I haven't had a chance to do anything in this kind of um in this kind of a pose uh, It wasn't wasn't overly, uh, you know uh, pinup styled in in the traditional sense, but um, I still think it was very very kind of epic and kind of felt um, a couple of times when I was drawing this as though I was, I was sort of illustrating, um, uh, I don't know, maybe a, a Pocahontas or Lewis and Clark or something kind of like that. Um, very explorer-ish kind of thing. Um, so it was a good opportunity to try uh, try doing something um, strong and, and, and new and yeah, it was a good time. Uh, and matter of fact, uh, I think for the inking part of this whole process, I did a little bit of a live stream, which was really cool. I got some good questions that came in. Um, about drawing hands and drawing uh, torsos and and how those all connect and everything. Um, I just you know I kind of decided for time since I, I drew directly into this this piece um, <laughs> I, I drew uh, how to draw hands and torsos and everything and I just felt like yeah why do we have to, we don't got to throw that in the video that's that's just something for the people that like to tune in for the live stream stuff so. Um, anyway, so as you can see, I'm kind of laying down, as I did with the last video, I'm laying down everything with uh, gray scale, monochromatic, um, everything with value, basically. And um, I felt that that went so well last time that I wanted to try and do it again. Um, problem was, I honestly didn't like the way that it turned out. I thought it looked a little bit too painterly and and I don't know what it is but sometimes I just kind of get on this kick where I just want everything to look more um, more like a cell shaded kind of a cartoon piece something that um, you might see in a in a Disney movie or or maybe a, a comic book I didn't necessarily want it to look like a painting um, I think it's a great exercise to go through the the value side of, of, of rendering. It's something that I personally feel that I, I need a lot of work. Um, and some of you more experienced artist friends out there are probably looking at this and going, yep, dude, you should keep working at it. And that's great. Um, I appreciate that kind of feedback. Um, or I could be just projecting and you guys can just tell me shut up. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know about you guys, but <clears throat> spring has sprung in Seattle and I am definitely fighting some allergies. It is Kind of irritating. I don't know if it's it's made my voice a little bit gnarly. <clears throat> so I apologize for that. If I have to break away and uh, clear my throat, I will try to try to avoid that. Um, so you can see here I'm I'm laying down colors once again over the over the top of the um, the uh, value pass that I did on this. I personally felt <clears throat> that the, the 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 straight monochromatic black and white. 
it sometimes can kind of end up looking a little bit muddled in that y you can tell that there's no, uh, there's no, uh, what do I want to say? There's no flesh and blood and, and you know, all that icky stuff un happening underneath the, the epidermis and the, you know, that louder, outer layer of skin. And, um, and, and, and so it, it definitely gave me something to think about where I wanted to let light hit and kind of bounce around and stuff. But I think I ultimately kind of jumped back and said, you know, I think I want to rearrange this a little bit. Also, same thing with the sky and, and, and the way I was using some color dodge and, and things like that. So we're going to jump into um, some rearrangement that I, that I made in this uh, right about here. Right away, I kind of took out that that sun. I didn't quite like how that looked. I didn't like how the um, I didn't like how the sky was looking. As a matter of fact, uh, I, I wanted to. Ha I knew I wanted to just start with sort of a gradient thing, <clears throat> where it sort of receded in the background. But the problem that that I have with what we're seeing here is there's sort of like that that idea of of perspective happening. But it's very much like a positional perspective where it's like, you know, and, and maybe like sort of a, a scale perspective where it's like the clouds in the back are tiny and the clouds that are closer are, are bigger. But that's that's not um, that's not entirely the best way to sell uh, perspective in, in, in this case. If you want to have more of a dra dramatic sort of a composition, sometimes it's always it's good to uh, uh, kind of lead your lead your viewers eye with some more directional line and you can see I'm kind of doing that with the clouds there they're looking a little bit more wispy and more like they're pushing into the uh, receding into the background versus just you know straight up kind of a positional thing like I was talking about before <clears throat> and then as you can see here I also kind of rearranged uh, the, uh, the the color a bit um, I've already dropped out the the value and and set up a, a new a new sun in the background and, uh, and oh yeah right there <laughs> uh, I thought that that sun was just so much more uh, more powerful than just kind of a, a wispy uh, line piece and then I thought you know there's there's so much light that's bouncing around in the scene that I probably don't need to have a whole lot of um, drop shadow happening I, I, I want to make sure that she's not getting lost in the image um, and it still feel, feels very, uh, you know, believable in, in the moment. But I didn't want to have so much dark value that it just kind of seemed like she was getting lost. And it was more, I didn't want to feel more like a silhouette. I wanted to actually feel like, um, like the focus was on her and not just the fact that it's just some faceless person walking uh, across the mountaintop. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So... back um <clears throat> she's on her way home that's great uh, i can just cut that out right yeah let's keep it real so uh yeah anyway uh also i went back and changed some colors i wanted to kind of i i wanted the the uh the handkerchief on the top of her head to kind of draw the eye a bit more than the green did and there we have the finest final I image isn't that awesome? I even added a little bit of uh, lens flare. So anyway, thank you guys for checking out this video. I know it was short. I appreciate your time. And uh, yeah, uh, stick around. We will have another video here soon. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.